Hello everyone, this is Douglas C. Welch and welcome back to this episode, long delayed episode I should say, of Mindful. It has been a long while since I've been able to get on the server. I have been busy doing other projects and uh, it never fails. You go ahead and you set up a server to share with everyone and all of a sudden you never have time to play anymore. So it's good to be back. I've actually been playing a little bit off camera. Uh, finally getting my little flat going here. I got a roof on it. Uh, got some, uh, I think I'm going with the with the fence post and the half slab type of look here. I like it being open like a, like a tree house. You've seen many tree houses before, I'm sure. And this is probably going to look a lot like most of the other ones you've seen as well. Uh, I've also been needing uh, resources. I, as I said, I haven't had a chance to get on very recently, and so my resources was really low. Um, so I decided just to kind of uh, go searching for some resources. So I went over here, and I noticed down here in our kind of makeshift works pen down here, uh, there was some resources right here available, and I said, let's just dig down here for a while. And um, sure enough... I came screaming down here, just working my way down to diamond level, found some resources along the way. In fact, there's some coal I missed right there. Let's get that before we go anywhere. Come here. can always use coal, that's for sure. Um, and I just kept digging down to uh, level 13. And, of course, while I was down digging down, I started to hear mobs uh, to my right. and said, well, that's good. It means I'm near a cave. And I hear the bats, which you just heard there. And here's my little base here. Anything in there? Oh, I got some iron that was still cooking in there last time I was down. Just some basic supplies. And in, of course, just turning to the right here, I soon found a cave. And uh, let's see if we can do this without getting totally destroyed here because I haven't lit this up yet. I haven't really explored this much, but I've hit a nice uh, ravine down here as well, which is at diamond level. Um, of course, the joke was I, I came down to the bottom of that stairway. I immediately turned to my right to um, figure out where those mobs are coming from and hit a nice pocket of about six diamonds right there, which is great. So I'm also going to use this a little bit for some uh, just some branch mining here. You can see I've got some branch mine set up. And again, I came back here to the lava area and... Um, Found this nice lava base here and found some other stuff. Uh, there was some gold somewhere. Where was some gold? There was some gold somewhere that was right over top of some lava. I think it's around that corner over there that I need to go find. But uh, I'm going to work my way through here. Oh, I didn't even notice it. I, there wasn't any light before when I was in here. And look above me right there is a lovely abandoned mine shaft, which I'll also have to explore very, very soon. This is great because this is a, a place that attracts me, um, brings me back here and gives me something to look forward to when I'm down here instead of just randomly branch mining. And that, of course, is always a lot more fun than just kind of hammering away at, uh, at blocks. Even though you might need the uh, resources, uh, it can get a little boring sometimes. That's my fortune pick that I picked up there. You can see I got fortune, uh, fortune one on there. Just a quick uh, enchant that I did a while ago. So I keep that reserved for um, uh, ores when I find them like that. Just switch back to them and then uh, only use it on that so I maintain some of its usefulness. Now you may notice that the audio is a little bit better here. I'm actually recording this on my Mac, uh, which has my podcasting rig on it. It has my nice microphone and everything else. And I figure even if the frame rate is a little bit low, and you can see also I've also Put, nicely put stairs here since I expect to be coming up and down here a lot. Um, the uh, the nice microphone and also unfortunately uh, Joseph's um, um, PC, while very powerful, has a horrendously loud fan, which you probably probably have heard in previous episodes, and so it helps to get away from that noise a little bit here. Here's our makeshift um, animal pen. There you can kind of see the treehouse growing up there, and I'm gonna basically build up on top of this tree as well and reach out to this one as well and maybe over here even just kind of create a whole little compound up there as I go. I like to do a little bit of building, a little bit of exploring, a little bit of uh, working on stuff, a little bit of resource gathering. I'm probably not going to bore you much with the actual uh, hardcore uh, branch mining and all that, but I figure I did want to show off my new mine there where I'm going to be able to get some nice resources. Now this is interesting, this is the road I started to develop, and I just sort of did it on a whim. I've been watching B-dubs over at uh, the Minecraft server and stuff, and I do like the kind of hidden um, roads where the, you combine dirt and cobble and gravel and other things, and it got me to thinking, actually, why I like this so much. And the fact is, it reminded me of a place I visited uh, in real life. Um, we were visiting family in Sicily, and we went to the ancient Greek city of Morgantina. And one of the things that struck me about Morgantina is much like this road here, you'd be wandering along and through the weeds and through the grass, and all of a sudden you'd come across 
the foundations of a home or or a mosaic tile floor just out there in the wild um you knew you were in a historic area but it was still surprising every time you crossed across one of these what you could find there and so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to kind of take that theme uh, at least for myself here on the server and say this area was settled by some ancient civilization before and what we find here and what we're building on top of is the remains of some ancient village and therefore you'll find little things like these bridges and the aqueducts and the roads that kind of appear in and out and the mosaic floors and a variety of other items like that i think that's a great little concept uh, for decorating the server. It is one of the best things I love about being on a multi-user server, of course, is even um, without that ancient history idea, if you're on a server with multiple people, you often see uh, come across remnants of, of crafting benches and little hidey holes and, and other things that are just left out there by someone else that you have no idea there until you stumble across them. And it's almost like being a little bit, a bit of an archaeologist in your own little world here. We're going to head out this way. We're going to follow the river downstream here. Uh, Joseph has also been able to spend a little more time on the server. He's been really busy with school lately. And he's a big League of Legends player too. So he's been spending a lot of time, free time doing that. Um, but he had told me the other day that over here down the river in a place that I had actually found myself early on because I'd gone exploring down this river too there's this great little outcropping here and there you can see his place up on the hill uh, where there was this perfectly square little outcropping on this hill and uh, I had looked at this myself because I thought these both these areas here were really neat looking and he's decided to go ahead and build his house right here on this square outcropping much where I would have built my own house so I figured we'd uh, come over here a little bit oh what's this here I didn't notice this before let's see he's got a way a boat way here in from the bottom maybe he does let's see let's see a torch here again this is again the great part of exploring nope oh there a ladder? No ladder. No, I guess it's just a water drop to get out. Okay. Uh, oops, it's starting to get dark, so I better hurry up here. Um, don't want to be caught out at night. When I was coming out of the mine the other night, I almost got killed. I was down to just barely a half a heart, uh, just because there were a bunch of mobs around the area when I came up, and it was not a happy thing. Um, with the new mob behavior and everything, it can be really dangerous to be out at night, so uh, I'm going to head up here to his place and We'll spend the night looking around, and maybe if he's got a bed up there, we'll sleep to make the night go away. Let's see. There we go. Hurry up, Doug. Hurry up. Anyway, I want to thank you for watching my info. I'm sorry it has been so delayed. Uh, life gets in the way sometimes. I don't do YouTube for a living, um, and I do other videos as well, like my gardening videos and stuff. And So sometimes uh, it can be a little difficult to get to the computer. And also having some computer problems, I've been trying to get... Um, Come on, let me sleep, please. Hello. Got some lag. There we go. Um, it can be hard to get the computer working just right. I've been trying to tune the Mac here, so at least I have a, a decent frame rate for you to watch. I think the quality will be pretty good, and definitely the audio quality is dramatically higher. And, of course, like a lot of us, it never fails. You forget to eat, and all of a sudden you start taking damage. You're like, why am I taking damage? you're a silly fool and you forgot to eat so uh just got a just a wonderful viewpoint here uh you can i'll uh, step out here on the balcony actually this this i like the stairway he's got he said he worked really hard on this getting all the the steps to join up right so that you didn't have any point where you couldn't uh go up the stairs without um without having to hop and it took him a little while to get those working but uh He's uh, found a taiga biome too nearby, which he's gotten a lot of wood from, and I'm probably going to go need to hit that up too. I've been planting some trees near my place uh, just to make sure I have a ready supply of wood as well. But uh, as you can see from the treehouse, I've been using fences for that, and fences are blasted expensive as far as the amount of resources you need to, um, to, uh, to build those, and especially if you're building major structures out of them. Can't quite see out into the distance here. Let's see if I can do this real quick. Let's go here. Options. Video settings. Render distance. Far. And let's see. I think from here you can actually see um, Jax's swamp out in this direction, if I'm correct. Of course, now it's not drawing for me. Oh, well, even though I changed the 
taking a little while to do that. But uh, he's been doing some great work over there, and you can check out his channel. I'll try to make sure I link to his channel uh, below. But uh, he's had a lot of time on the server, even though he, too, is... Uh, spending a lot of time at school and stuff like that, so it can be a little difficult sometimes. But it's great to see other people doing um, videos on the server. I use them often to see what is going on in those times when I haven't had a chance to get on myself. Uh, I'm going to need to make some boats, I think, to get down to Earth. It is a, looks like you can go all the way down the river here, which is sort of nice uh, to get down to Gogo Joseph's place here, so that's fun. I'm going to head back towards um, towards my... Uh, Heidi Hole. I've been taking the opportunity to um, grab stuff from my original Heidi Hole and uh, move it over slowly to the new tree house over there. Uh, boy, moving through water can be really slow sometimes. Make a boat, Doug, make a boat. And up we go. There we go. Now we can sprint. Um, if you've been watching other videos like the Minecraft server guys, like we do, uh, you'll see that there are some amazing new features coming in 1.7. Uh, I think we have explored. The land, uh, our, whoa, where'd he come from? Oh, I hate when they do that. They sneak up on you like that. Okay, very quickly here. I like to, I'm always telling the other guys, you know, if, you, if, you're, if you're out there and you wander around, please replace your creeper divots as well as you can. Uh, <laughs> it's not always the case because I tend to destroy a lot of dirt in total. So sometimes it can be a little hard to get enough materials to, uh, to replace everything, but at least try to... Uh, uh, yeah, thanks a lot. You could have warned me, you know. Yeah, yeah, you up there. You could have warned me. Uh, never mind. Thanks. Mm. Cows. You'd just rather sit here and do your little moo laugh at me as I uh, fill in my hole here. Mm. Um, but yeah, <laughs> trying to repair the creeper difference. You can tell when your guest's getting started on the server too when it's been a little rough night out because uh, <laughs> you'll find all these creeper divots everywhere. Uh, let's head back this way again. Get moving here. Um, Oh boy, what else is going on? Um, started, I see that Jax has taken all the chickens out of the chicken pen. I'm not sure why I need to talk to him about that. Maybe watch his video to see what he was thinking of there. Probably he's got all the chickens down in his little vending machine over there. So um, that'll be uh, that'll be something. I probably will make another little chicken pen over on me just to make sure I always have a ready supply of food. So here we are with our horse breeding pens and the horse breeding machine here, which uh, that's another thing I got to do. Another reason I want to go exploring a little bit more, I need to find some saddles. I also need to um, uh, find um, slime balls. Now, I, down in that ravine I just walked by over there, I have noticed there are, uh, there was a slime chunk down there. I saw slimes down there when we first started uh, showing up down there and um, that means I probably need to go down there and kind of farm them a little bit, see if I can find a few. And then, um, let's see what we got here. Ah, yeah, let's get our dime. Let's get our, let's get our expensive stuff out of here. Ooh, coal blocks are good too. Uh, and maybe those. Um, and we'll head over to the tree house again here and uh, drop this stuff off. Um, I need leads as well if I'm going to be doing horses. I picked this seed of this world uh, early on. Uh, because I was just kind of looking at seeds very quickly, and I noticed this one just had this huge horse plains, as you've seen here. We have more horses than we know what to do with. Um, I think the other guys, I think Jax has a horse. I think Laser has a horse already. Um, I have not done it yet. I need to get a saddle. Maybe I'll, <laughs> maybe I'll hit them up for a saddle at some point. Um, let's see here. Okay, let's do this again. Uh, let's say options, video settings. Let's set this back to normal so I could... Get a little faster frame rate going here, and back to the game. Um, so I know where I'm going. <laughs> Hate when you're wandering out there and you're like, wait a minute, where's where's the world? Where's the part of the world I'm looking for? Uh, a couple of little divots around here I've been trying to fill in myself. This is where the original um, um, sheep pen was. There's another cave down here, probably connects up with the one that I'm exploring down on the other end. And, uh, ooh, an ocelot. That's the first one I've seen here. I know we've been in the jungle, but I really hadn't seen it before. And, of course, no fish. Okay, well, that's good to know. I'll, uh, yet another thing to add to my agenda. Fishing in the new versions have become dramatically changed. Uh, it'll actually be a little more fun to do some fishing um, in uh, 1.7 when it is finally released. So there's our gold. There's our the diamonds, our gold. And, Oh, let's take most of our coal, really. I only need to carry a little bit with us. 
I like the ability to carry around blocks of stuff, like blocks of iron, blocks of coal, and stuff like that. Uh, when you're going exploring, it really helps to keep less in your inventory and um, allow you to pick up more blocks. It never fails when I'm down in the mine. I've always got too much in my inventory. I'm always trying to organize and fix and everything else. So it's, it's good that you can combine uh, the smaller items into these bigger blocks and then keep them around. So then if I need torches when I'm down in the tunnel, well, no problem. I just break up a... Uh, a block of coal and I got plenty of coal to last me for the entire situation um, so again we're gonna go back up here and uh, I'm gonna expand this I'm gonna put a safety rail on this for one thing this is a little dangerous coming up here um, but I'm thinking I want to continue to expand this and we're gonna reach out in that direction we'll go across to that tree perhaps put another platform up there uh, maybe I'll make a, a living room up there and then keep this as a storage room down here so it's a little easier to access um, don't tend to like jungles because they're a little dangerous to wander around in, a little hard to get through, but I'm going to do some, definitely do some more exploring in this jungle, uh, especially now that I've seen that ocelot, that's going to attract me over there too. And I've got a great little fishing pond right here for when we start to do the fishing. Uh, now with uh, 1.7, we get new biomes, we get uh, some new trees. Um, if you're, again, if you're, I hate to keep referring to Minecraft, but that is my main YouTube viewing that I do. And it's great because of course they're on the snapshot and that allows me to see what's coming very easily and what trouble we might also have. Um, so it's, it's, it's nice to see that. And let me see here. I'm going to very quickly see how quickly I can do this here. Let's make some more sticks, please. And, and then let's go ahead. I do like the drag and drop nature of the uh, crafting benches now that's really nice I got see, just boy that's expensive <laughs> it is quite amazing how expensive uh, two three four one two three four um, how expensive fences are uh, when you get down to it but I do like the way they look I like the open look that they give to the place so there we go we got a few let's go ahead and basically what I do and this is the way I build is I I just generally um, walk around I'll make a few fence posts then I'll come over here and say okay well here I got some time I got some resources let's go ahead and uh, you know get this and I want to do that and that joins up there and let's see here I come across now let's do this side and then of course oh, I'm gonna break my mind uh, and then I'll uh, I'll make some more half slabs to do more of the roof I did realize when I made this uh, structure uh, I made it um, an even number, <laughs> which of course, if you're used to building in Minecraft, you'll know can be a real pain in the butt because, um, uh, Minecraft likes odd numbers better. And, uh, so, okay, now what, what did I use for the roof? I think that that's oak for the roof up there. Okay. So we want to do two, three, four, make some more planks and then, uh, crafting bench <clears throat> and make some more Half slabs, Boink. or slabs as they should properly be called. I've been watching too many YouTubers who call them half slabs. Um, and let's see here, let's, now we can add to this. So it's a little incremental. Um, that's the way I like to build. I don't like to do any one thing too much. I like to go caving. I like to go exploring. I like to do a little bit of building. Uh, of course, I'm not the world's best builder. Um, Joseph is pretty darn good. He's just getting started on that current uh, place over there. But he's got some really good building school skills. He also likes um, he likes building in creative. He loves the voxel box server. I've he introduced me to that, and boy, there's an amazing group of builders over there. Uh, and when you combine that with the tools they've made available, um, it is just amazing what they can build. They actually do a free um, open server monthly now, I believe. Uh, they used to do it like once a year, but I believe it's monthly now. And you can go over and check out some amazing, um, amazing stuff over there that is built with uh, lots of texture packs and, and other things. So, so let me see. And I like. I think I might leave. I sort of like the way it then joins up to the tree directly using this tree as part of the structure here. So I think we'll actually leave that and... Uh, I like that. I like that. And make, make it part of, you know, kind of organically growing out of the tree. Uh, we are looking uh, due east, which I sort of like. You get the nice sunrises here and the nice moon rises as things come up. 
not this point. I think I'm going to finish up for this episode of Mindful. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you like the better audio quality. I certainly uh, will think it will sound a lot better. As a podcaster, I'm really sensitive to audio quality. And um, in the future, oh, look, here come the zombies. Uh, in the future, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, do more with this kind of uh, ancient civilization that I was talking about over there by the roads and uh, have kind of our our world imposed on a world that was perhaps here before and I'm going to actually talk to Jax and to Joseph about that and see what they think about that idea. I'm going to improve my animal pens here. I'm going to, this, these were so temporary but now I'm going to actually work on them and start getting them better organized, start my, get my livestock growing pretty well and then um, Oh, I'm going to regret this. I normally sleep through the night, and that means all these creepers are going to be out here when I wake up in the morning. Oh, let's, let's, let's do a quick sleep here before anything else spawns. Let everything else burn up. And then we'll have to deal with the creepers as we see fit. They are nasty little devils. I wonder. Let me see here. Can I? That's an awfully long distance. Can I snipe him from up here? Eh, oh, just short. Oh, and he moved. Uh, go! Ah, now nah, we'll let him go. I'll, have, I'll, I'll take care of him later before I go back downstairs. Uh, I'll probably be getting on a little bit later and doing some more caving. Uh, as I explore that ravine, I'll probably record that as well because I think that'll be pretty exciting um, whenever you're lighting your eyes. I really like to look and then to look up uh, as I did down there and see that um, abandoned mine shaft right there too. Uh, this is going to be a great place to explore. I'm sure I'll get lots and lots of resources and hopefully lots and lots of chests so I can start getting name tags and saddles and other important resources like that as well. Again, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, please do click that like button. It really does help people discover this video and all my other videos. Please check out all my other videos. I do videos on a variety of topics, including gardening, technology, careers, and more. Uh, you'll find them all at youtube.com slash DE Welch. will be a link, of course, in this video as well to everything else. Thanks again, guys. Have a great day and uh, keep on digging here in Minecraft.